this video we're going to be installing the M.2 drive into the PC. So for my computer I decided to go with the 970 EVO Plus. At the time of filming this was just released about a week ago. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference between this and the old 970 EVO. I decided to go with this one over the Pro just due to the cost per uh, gigabyte of storage is a huge difference. Now, when you got to remember how small these are. you got to be very careful with it. They are a lot smaller than people realize. Here's a pen for scale. And you got to be very careful when handling them. I recommend only touching the outside silicon, not touching any of the components on the board, or especially not the pins themselves. You don't want to get the oils from your fingers on the pins. Now, the only thing that comes in the box is the drive itself and this instruction manual. Not a whole lot of relevant information in this because every drive is going to be different. So I'm going to be installing this in my Gigabyte Aurora's master board. And I'm going to be using the included shield or heat sink, whatever you want to call it. There's still up for debate whether or not these actually make a difference at all. The standoff already comes pre installed. Some other boards it may not, depending on what size. SSD you have. This is a full size, so I don't really need to change that at all. You got to make sure you line up the notch on the board with the notch on here. At an about a 30 degree angle, you just want to push in. Some other boards will click, but, you'll, but it'll definitely feel like it's installed the way it should be. Once you have it in there, just push it down and then screw it in. Not, you don't want to over tighten it and then crack the silicon. So then for this you just got to pull off the sticky part on the thermal pad, line it up with the notch, and then gently place it on top. And once again not screwing this part of the heat sink down too tight in order to cause any problems. And that's it for this. It's totally installed. It's got the heat sink on and everything. Same, you install it the same exact way for all of them except for the bottom one. It is a little bit shorter. So if you want to install a full size SSD, you can't use the heat sink slash heat shield, which may or may not be a big deal. I'm not going to argue that here. Y'all can argue that down in the co comments below. Uh, after the video, there's going to be the posted specs of the drive. And I'm going to link Samsung's page for it down below. So you can all make the decision on your own. But these drives have a very good history in the past of longevity. You have to remember when you're buying one, trying to figure out how much storage you need, filling up an SSD all the way, an M.2, will cause it to slow down once you get towards the top end of once you get closer and closer to one terabyte. So I would recommend, let's say, only maybe putting about 800 gigabytes of storage on this one terabyte drive, even though it can obviously hold more than that. 